hello from 2CYAS how are you I hope you are doing well so friends as you know that on our channel we are covering the syllabus of UPSC civil services and for that purpose we have started multiple series on our channel that target your prelims as well as mains so currently friends we have 12 series that focus on your prelims and one series that target your mains so what we do in these prelims or inter series we have basically divided your whole syllabus into 12 large subtopics and what we do we daily cover your two subtopics and in this manner we cover all your subtopics in six days so 12 subtopics are covered in six ways six days and this process goes on and on in cyclic manner and we will continue to do so till 31st may why the date chosen has been 31st may because on 2nd june is your prelims of upsc csc 2019 and we will end this series only one day before your prelims exam so let's start our discussion of today's lecture so today is lecture number 24 of ancient india so let's see what are the questions of today first is kana ghana hali one of the excavation sites of the archaeological survey of india is famously known due to which of these region uh, reasons first it is the only buddhist site to host a surviving stoop second it hosts the only inscribed stone portrait of emperor ashoka third it was the first international buddhist center to be established in india let me tell you friends that kanagana hali is basically it is in karnataka and it is a site uh, uh, from where uh, uh, the remnants of uh, a large stoop have been unearthed as well as uh, there is a, a, a portrait only a stone inscribed stone por portrait of emperor ashoka is there at this site so only second is correct so the answer is b that is solution is b so friends here we are not providing you explanation what we used to do earlier we used to provide explanation also but now we have dropped that idea if you, in case you want the explanation of uh, uh, these pdfs you can contact us at this email id uh, that is gyes21 at the rate gmail.com or you can contact us at this number that is 8968426481 so there will be a certain minimum cost uh, which will uh, which you will you people have to pay for the subscription purposes but it has been kept as minimum as possible for your affordability purposes as well as for the purpose of our motivation let's move on to the second question second question is mahayana refers to one of three routes to enlightenment the other two routes are so friends basically uh, this uh, buddhist religion is divided into uh, three main types so here we have been asked that mahayana is one type then uh, what, 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 what uh, which which of the following are the other two uh, two uh, uh, other two sects of uh, buddhism a Hinyana and Vajrayana, B Upanya and Vajrayana, C Hinyana and Upanya and uh, D Azhalism and Upanya. Let me tell you friends that the answer is Hinyana and Vajrayana. So answer is A. So the solution would be A. Let's move on to the next question. Next question is third question. These tribes were largely brought to India as slaves by Arabs around 7th century, originally known as Habchis. These tribes living in Karnataka are descendants of Bantu people of East Asia, Africa. So they are A. Siddhis, B. Moplas, C. Bheel, D. Chechu. Let me tell you friends that the answer is A. Siddhis. So B, these tribes are, uh, uh, now these tribes are uh, known as Siddhis and they are basically found in uh, the regions of Karnataka, Maharashtra and Central India. And, uh, and basically these tribes they have been brought uh, to India largely by, by the slaves around, uh, by the Arabs around 7th century as slaves. So the answer is A. So solution is A. Let's move on to the next question. Next question is, uh, what was or were the fundamental differences in the philosophy of Lokyats and Ajivikas? First, Ajivikas believed in fatalism, whereas Lokyats uh, believed in the oppo believed the opposite. Second, Ajivikas noted that there are no universal laws, whereas Lokyats believed certain fundamental laws existed. So here we have to choose that which of the above statement is correct. Let me tell you friends that only one statement is correct and that is first. Uh, basically the Ajivikas, uh, they believed in the concept of near T so that is fatalism so they said that everything is predetermined determined and uh, and is based on certain laws whereas loka uh, uh, be believed the just the opposite so only one is correct so the answer is a one only so the in detail explanation is in the explanation pdf to which you can subscribe let's move on to the fifth question fifth question is early sangam text mentioned different categories of people considered the following matches of these categories with their social status first uzavar zamidar second velalar local banker third adimai slaves so we have to choose the correct 
मैच फ्रॉम द अब थ्री मैच इज लेट मी टेल यू फ्रेंड्स दैट ओनली वन वन इज करेक्टली मैच एंड दैट इज थर्ड दैट इज अदीम आई वर वर द स्लेव बेसिकली इन द संगम सोसाइटी सो द आंसर इज थर्ड ओनली दैट इज बी सो उजावर वर वर बेसिकली द प्लो मैन एंड वेलर वर बेसिकली दोज हैव द लार्ज दोज विच वर लैंड ओनिंग क्लासेज सो द आंसर इज सोल्यूशन इज बी Let's move on to the next question. Next question is according to Sanskrit legal text, women were not supposed to have independent access to resources such as land. But this woman ruler who was associated with Gupta Empire had access to land is and is renowned as one of the most important rulers in early Indian history. She is. So here we have been asked that which of the following uh, uh, were uh, was uh, was the woman ruler who had the who had land associated with her. So the answer, friends, here would be B. That is Prabha. Prabhavati. So the answer is Prabhavati. I will not go into further detail. That thing is mentioned in our uh, explanation PDF. So let's move on to the next question. Next question is the royal title of Deva Putra and Hindu Suratrana are often associated with which of these ruler kingdoms respectively? A. Kushanas and Vijayanagar. Second, uh, B. Magadha and Samudragupta. C. Shakas and Cholas. D. Vakatkas and Chiras. Let me tell you, friends, that the answer here is. A that is Kushanas and Vijayanagar. So Kushanas refer to them as Deva Putra, and Vijayanagar rulers refer to them as Hindu Suratrana. So the answer is A. In detail explanation is in explanation PDF. Let's move on to the next question. That is eighth question. Which of these were identified as Harappan sites located in India? First, Sutka Jhander. Second, Mithathal. Third, Balakot. Fourth, Dholavira. Fifth, Kalibangan. So we have to choose that which of these sites are is in India. Let me tell you, friends, that clearly Balakot uh, recently uh, 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 air force. Uh, Uh, air strike there a training camp of jaish e mohammed so suddenly balakot is in pakistan so any option that is mentioning three can be clearly eliminated that is b and d can be clearly eliminated and let me tell you friends uh, that dholavira is also in india and uh, this uh, kalibanga is also in india and uh, and the next is mithathal so the answer mithathal uh, then the answer is c that is 2 uh, 4 and 5 so This is the answer. Explanation is an explanation video. Let's move on to the next question. Next question is the sixth century BC is regarded as a major turning point in early Indian history. It is associated with which of the following? First, use of silver for the first time. Second, development of coinage. Third, practice of Gana oligarchies in Mahajanpada. So we have to choose the correct answer. Uh, let me tell you, friends, uh, that uh, first is not correct. Uh, you, uh, silver was not uh, used for the first time at this time. It was already already uh, used in Indian subcontinent. So the answer here would be development of coinage as well as practice of Gana oligarch oligarchies. That is, uh, of uh, Ganas in Mahajanpada. So the answer would be second and third only. So solution here would be d let's move on to the next question next question is and the last question is consider the following statements first moryas used punch marked coins made of silver and copper second first coins to bear the names and images of rulers were issued by indo greeks and uh, third is yadavas of punjab and haryana were renowned renowned for issuing copper coins fourth uh, both kushanas and guptas issued gold coins so we have to choose the correct statement let me tell you friends that all of these statements are correct so here the answer would be d that is 1 2 3 and 4 so this is all about friends today's lecture if you like the video if you like the questions then do hit a like to this video and also ensure that you share it with your friends and also do not forget uh, forget to subscribe our channel as well as do not forget to press the bell icon because then only you will get all the important uh updates or notification of important updates that we do on our channel so this is all about friends today's video have a very nice day in case you want to subscribe you can contact us at this email id or at at this contact number that is 8968426481 so thank you friends have a very nice day